I don't know. I can't comment on the steel sanctions thing. I just know on the steel tariffs. I just know that uh, it's just great that, like, this is where Paul Ryan finally speaks up. Like, Muslim ban, sure. Charlottesville, white supremacy, all of this. And then, of course, just, you know, the day in and day out policy that people like Paul Ryan promote to entrench and expand, or not entrench, not expand, entrench American oligarchy. Uh, this is when he finally spoke out. And and today, Gary Cohn resigned. And Gary Cohn apparently, like, oh, I don't know, I could deal with not playing footsie with Nazis because I wanted to get rid of Wall Street reform and give myself a tax cut, but a steel tariff... Chair. I want to be Fed chair. Gary Cohn. Uh, what a was, scumbag. He got taken out of the running for Fed chair because he leaked some disapproval with Trump's Charlottesville comments. Out. <laughs> oh, you're considering uh, leaving? Okay, yeah, you're done for Fed yeah, chair. Yeah, wow. Well, guess who's not going to be Fed chair? Guess who's not considering appointing you Fed chair? Me. There's not good guys on both sides of this. Here is, uh, this is one of these, well, this has actually led us to some new new ideas, which is that what if we are actually living in a world where every other head of state and every other leadership is actually talking like Trump, and the voices in Trump's head are real from a global perspective. But this is a press conference that was held today with the Swedish Prime Minister, Stefan Lufven, and this is like, I don't know much about the Swedish Prime Minister, but I would say like, well, this is a very big contrast in this press conference between the uh, Swedish Prime Minister and uh, Trump. Sweden and the United States are two of the most innovative economies in the world, and we see great opportunities ahead. Swedish prosperity is built on cooperation, competitiveness, and free trade. And I'm convinced that increased tariffs will hurt us all in the long run. And as a Swede, I, of course, support the efforts of the European Union to achieve trade with fewer obstacles and as few as possible. As an example, if the European Union takes off some of the horrible barriers that make it impossible for our product to go into there, then we can start talking. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to leave it the way it is. So the fact is, we've been mistreated as a country for many years, and it's just not going to happen any longer. How do you avoid this escalating? How do you avoid this escalating into a trade war? Well, it's, we'll have to see. You know, when we're behind on every single country, trade wars aren't so bad. <laughs> you understand what I mean by that? No. When we're down by 30 billion, 40 billion, 60 billion, 100 billion, the trade war hurts them, doesn't hurt us. So we'll see what happens. You know, you can also take it. In some cases, we lose on trade, plus we give them military <laughs> where we're subsidizing them <laughs> tremendously. So not only do we lose on trade, we lose on military. Hmm. So, and hence, we have these massive deficit numbers in our country. Uh, we're going to straighten it out, and we'll do it in a, in a very loving way. It'll be a loving, <laughs> loving way. They'll like us better, and they will respect us much more. Because even they say, right now, they say, we can't believe we've gotten away. I mean, two countries have said, we cannot believe, to be honest with you, we've gotten away with this so long. Now, one of them made that statement before I got elected. Mm. He said, I can't believe I made that statement before I got elected. But it's one of those <laughs> things. We have to straighten it out. We yep. really have no choice. So nailed it. Uh, now, right now, I want to invite you in a, in, a, in a Rick and Morty world, a parallel universe, where Trump's mind is reality and the voices in his head are real. What does that sound like? Let, let, let's go to the European Union. Like, they, they give us military, but also if we are beating them on trade and we beat them, but, but not only that, but also, by the way, on, on military, we are laughing at them. To be honest, we cannot believe what we're getting away with. <laughs> we cannot. I, I'm telling this every day. I cannot believe what we are getting away with. All right, and let's go to uh, to China. Right, it's like stupid Obama. Stupid Obama. He letting us get away with everything on trade, but also on military. Oh no, Donald Trump gonna be president. Uh, Mexico. Uh, we're beating him at the border, man. 
but also on trade. Not only repeating, uh, but but also on military, <laughs> on the border and on military. Who else? Who else would be? Who else would be in this montage? Probably the Japanese. Like the American, terrible. They they're bad negotiate, but also bad on trade. Well, because they are getting one over on military. They get yeah. They are getting the, the ja- those damn Japanese. <laughs> they're totally getting one over on military. To be to be honest we don't know how we're getting away with it. how do we get away with this verse and then i guess i don't know if he thinks that anybody in else anywhere else in latin america or africa maybe he does he's just sort of like yeah like people like in haiti it's like we are winning on the border <laughs> and on military meanwhile in real life israel is just like we're winning uh, on the Jerusalem Embassy and uh, on military, but also on uh, basically whatever we want. 